just picture a diagram with different layers or like a, a picture or a drawing of the ocean with different layers of current or different wavelengths and each section in a sense has a different color for example just separate these out for yourself so that there's this clear distinction this clear visualization of different layers different levels every level in the sense it represents levels of existence just levels of consciousness within existence or frequencies frequency levels every level in existence has its own points of view the ways that it sees life the ways that it understands and sees its present experience we could also call these beliefs in a sense points of view or beliefs or perspectives each layer has its own sort of set of beliefs within one layer there is the possibility to expand your beliefs only till a certain point and they're all going to have every belief that you run into on that level of consciousness they're all going to have something in common something there's something similar about them they're of a particular level they're of, of a particular vibratory nature they have a particular feel to them they have a limit to their understanding a limit to how expensive these beliefs can be if you go a level up in a sense then you naturally reach from that point of view you feel its freedom which is great it is it's the expansion so it feels like freedom but as many of you who have been spiritually searching and practicing and finding and searching and practicing and finding and searching and practicing and finding and searching and practicing and finding you will know from experience that one point of view that at first really did it for you that first really liberated you after a while it sort of grows still have you had that before mm -hmm. you can use a particular pointer a particular meditation or a belief to sort of counter a way of seeing life that you previously didn't use but now that you're using it you're gaining the freedom the sense of freedom and maybe at that point you call that freedom period you say oh that's the freedom this is the way it is because it feels free it doesn't feel like it's another layer of beliefs it doesn't feel like it's another layer of perspective it just feels so much more expensive than the previous level that we call it freedom but in a sense it's just the expansion of consciousness and once that starts to grow stale there may be a seeking energy again there may be a a sense of not being entirely satisfied again and so you search in a sense you have that urge for a greater expansion again and you again go a level up in a sense and reach that level where there is again different perspectives different points of view that are more expansive in nature or wiser more loving more in alignment with the idea that all is one on each level of those perspectives you cannot win from any of these perspectives so let's just use a very common human one on a very basic human condition level which is that of i'm unworthy as soon as you grow up here you're taught that you're unworthy basically everyone as i see it on that level of i'm unworthy there is no resolution to the idea i am unworthy there is no resolution whatsoever to the idea i am unworthy on that level it will always confirm itself it can never compensate for itself it can never find i am worthy on the same frequency as i'm unworthy the level which holds the belief i'm unworthy from that level there is no healing of that perspective it's always going to be right you can't win realizing this the best way to go level up is to admit total and utter defeat instead of fearing that it's true that you're not worthy and therefore trying to fight your way through life trying to prove you are worthy instead just say it's true i'm not worthy admit defeat say it is true i'm not worthy it's actually true from that perspective that i'm not worthy <sighs> well okay if i can't do anything about it then who cares if i don't have to fight to compensate for it to prove it wrong if i will always lose no matter how hard i try no matter how close i get then finally i can lay down my arms and i can just relax and be who i want to be it's always going to be true from a particular point of view that you're not worthy that you're not good enough no matter how well you perform no matter how perfect you do the things you do to perform to compensate that seeking in a sense that suffering that searching that striving is that compensation that urge to compensate for that conditioned idea of i'm unworthy but that compensation happens from having a portion of your consciousness be identified with that belief 
Therefore, a portion of your consciousness sees through the point of view, I am unworthy. And that portion of your consciousness feels the urge. It is that portion of your consciousness that's looking through the belief, I'm unworthy, that feels like it wants to prove it's worthy. So it's never going to win because it's looking from the point of view, I'm unworthy. So whatever it finds, it will always be true. So admit defeat, very important. And in a sense, you could call this a different way of looking at shadow work, if you're familiar with that. It's just to come to terms to own the fact that you believe you're not worthy so that it can let go its grasp of it, or rather you can let go of that level of beliefs. So you can say it to yourself right now in, internally. What are you most afraid of in terms of personal failure? What would prove that you are indeed not worthy? What could you do? What could you mess up in life? What projects are you currently excited about that if you'd fail would mean something, would mean a confirmation of I'm unworthy? What believe in yourself? What negative belief do you fear could be true? What are you subtly trying to compensate for? And it usually is a form of I'm not worthy. It can be I'm inadequate, I'm a failure, I'm not worth anything, I don't deserve anything. But it's a, a sense of I'm not worthy, I'm not there, I'm not good enough, I'm not perfect, I'm not loved. So find that belief that you're afraid of being true and say to yourself internally, I'm afraid that it's true that Dot, 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 dot. that I'm unworthy, for example. I'm afraid that it's true that I'm unworthy. I'm afraid that it's true that I'm not perfect. I'm afraid that it's true that I'm a failure. And just feel the honesty of that within yourself. Feel the honesty of admitting that. And now say to yourself, it is true that I'm unworthy. And see how that may cause some uncomfortability. Because you still fear that it's true but on some level you believe it's not the whole truth. That's why you keep fighting to compensate for it. You're trying on that same level to reach a state and to reach circumstances and to look a certain way in the eyes of other people that it will look like and feel like you are worthy. But it's just a cover up. So what does it bring up for you the moment you say, first you say, okay, I'm afraid that it's true that I'm unworthy. And you sort of sink into that feeling and you take a deep breath and you go, ah, oh, okay. Okay, that's true, and you just feel the honesty of that. And then you go on and say, and yes, it is true. I am unworthy. I can't escape that. It's absolutely true that I'm not good enough on that level. From that perspective, I'm never going to be good enough. You're always going to be right. You can say that to your own belief. You're always going to be right. I'm never going to make it. I'm never going to be good enough. I'm never going to be loved. I'm never going to be perfect. And sit with that admittance, with admitting that and feel how that can cause some uncomfortability and the desire to sort of escape and go into compensation mode again. But try to sit with it for a moment. Try to feel into it. Try to not be afraid of the fear that it's true. Don't be afraid of being afraid that it's true. Therefore, it can help to say it is true. And then you may go, no, it's not. Let me prove it to you. It's not true. I can do this, I can do that, I can do that. I did this, I did that. Doesn't that count? Just sit with the feeling where you say to your own belief system, it is true that I'm not worthy. And it's true that I never will be worthy in your eyes. In my own eyes, from this level of seeing, I will never be good enough. Ever. No matter what I do. No matter what I do. This belief is more intelligent than any attempt to compensate for it. You can never escape it. It will always checkmate you. So admit, full admittance, that that belief is absolutely true from its own point of view. Sit with that uncomfortability until it becomes a sigh of relaxation, a sigh of surrender, a sigh of letting go of the struggle to try and compensate for it. Because that's where the real pain comes in, that's where the real suffering is. <clears throat> that belief, that feeling I'm unworthy, doesn't mean anything. What's so bad about feeling unworthy? Feel it. What's so bad about it? Is it inherently wrong? It's just a feeling. Oh, I'm not good enough. I didn't make the cut. My daddy doesn't love me, my mommy doesn't love me, they don't see me for who I am, my teachers don't see me for who I am, my friends don't see me for who I am, my partner doesn't see me for who I am. I'm not good enough, I'm not loved, I'm not perfect, I'm a failure. What's so bad about that? Why are you running for it? Isn't it much worse to run for it for years and years and years and try and compensate for it? Isn't that the struggle? Isn't that the pain? Admit defeat.
and you'll be victorious. Try to prove that belief wrong and you'll always feel like a failure. But actually feel like a failure and it will resolve because that will give you a chance to that side, when you arrive at that sigh of relaxation, that sigh of letting go of the stress and the struggle of trying to prove it wrong, that you will feel unworthy. That trying to prove to yourself that you are good enough. When you relax that by seeing that you can never win that battle, that relaxation is actually a sort of like an ascension into the next level of consciousness, where there is different, more expansive perspectives available to you. Does it make you uncomfortable? Yeah. Good. That's good. Because you've been running it from so long. You've been running from it for so long. <coughs> so I don't expect you, and you shouldn't expect of yourself, to have that sigh of relief instantaneously. Although it's possible. But the fact that you feel uncomfortable when you say to yourself, it is true that I'm not good enough. The fact that you immediately feel the urge to go out and prove yourself. Prove it other otherwise. And just see that that attempt, that very tiny single attempt, is actually a symbol for your entire life. That's what you've been doing your whole life, to some extent, in your own unique way. And see, just look at that belief or look at that urge to then escape it again. When you say to yourself, it is true that I'm unworthy. And then that little, no, it's not. Look at that and see, <laughs> see that as your entire life. See that that encapsulates... Your entire identity, your entire life, your entire struggle, your entire search, or even your spiritual search is polluted by it, or especially your spiritual search. So sit with the uncomfortability, it's worth it. Sit with it, admit it again and again and again. Don't let yourself escape. See that truly it is true that you're unworthy. There's many perspectives out there that are absolutely valid, from which point of view you are absolutely not perfect. You're absolutely unworthy. You can come up with a lot of perspectives that actually see it that way. And so it's true. From these perspectives, there's a lot of perspectives out there from which it is true that you're not worthy, that you're not good enough. So what? So what? It's true that you're not worthy from these perspectives. Really sit with that and admit that to yourself. And allow the uncomfortability to be there. Give it as much of your spacious awareness as you can. Just sort of rest into it. Admit that you're not going to feel well for a little bit when you're doing this, admit or accept that it's going to be uncomfortable for a little bit, but see that it's going to save you the rest of your life. So it's worth it, those few minutes. And the more you're willing to actually accept it and meet it, and the more value you see in admitting that from that point of view, you're never going to be right. You can never convince that point of view. You can only shift to a different frequency where that point of view is no longer believed in. But that from that point of view, it's always going to be true. The more willing you are to face that, the more immediate that transformation happens.